And I think it's absolutely essential that we do everything in our power to restore public confidence in the, in the one person, one vote principle at the heart yeah. of this republic. Why not just get rid of electronic voting machines and call it a day and then we don't have to debate it? Well, I'm, uh, I would certainly be open to that. Is there a downside? <laughs> but but what, I, what I believe, Tucker, is that states govern elections. States ought to conduct our elections. In fact, our founding fathers debated this at the Constitutional Convention. It was one of the reasons why I, I believe that my duty was very clear on that day despite the fact that my former running mate continues to hold the view that I had the right to overturn the election. I, I had no right to overturn the election. The presidency belongs to the American people and the American people alone. I, I had no right to reject or return votes that day. And Kamala Harris will have no right to overturn the election when we beat them in 2024. But this principle of state control of elections is absolutely vital. I mean, we've got to... One of the very first bills that Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Joe Biden brought to the floor of the Congress was a bill to nationalize our elections. It's what essentially brought me off the sidelines. It was the first thing I spoke publicly against after I left my role as Vice President of the United States because you never want Washington, D.C. or any one person in Washington, D.C. deciding our elections. 